Good morning, everybody. Hey, welcome to Cup of Joe. Today is a wonderful day because we're in God's Word together again. Today we're in Psalm chapter 26. Psalm 26 is a prayer of David. Many of the Psalms are prayers from David, uh, heart cries from David, sometimes praising and worshiping from David. Here, uh, David specifically in this prayer is declaring his loyalty and love for God. Uh, and if we're genuinely committed to God, we can stand up to opposition anytime uh, and examine ourselves also. So um, in the sense of anytime you'd be up against an opposition or, or facing something or uh, someone's coming against you, this is a wonderful psalm uh, to pray. So if you're going to title or put a little topic out beside it, uh, facing opposition. Okay, check it out. Verse 1 says, Declare me innocent, O Lord. For I have acted with integrity. For I have acted with integrity. And a definition for integrity is um, moral uprightness, right? Moral uprightness and honesty and undivided and sound character. Undivided. My character is not divided. I don't act one way one time and one way another. It's uh, upright, it's undivided, and it's sound in character. Amen? I have trusted in the Lord without wavering. Put me on trial, Lord, and cross-examine me. Test my motives and affections. So he's saying, Lord, evaluate me. Check me. Examine me. Um, put me on trial, Lord, for I have had integrity and I've trusted in you without wavering. You know, test my motives and my affections, for I am constantly aware of your unfailing love. The only way we can be constantly aware of God's unfailing love is to be in His Word as we are today, regularly. As we're in His Word, uh, we know that in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And later we read that, um, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. So we know Jesus was the living Word, right? So the more time we spend with Jesus, by His Holy Spirit in us, the fruit of the Spirit, which we know the first fruit mentioned is love, right? That that love uh, uh, will be uh, um, emitted or come forth from our lives because we're spending time with the Lord. And he says, I am constantly aware of your unfailing love, Lord, and I have lived according to your truth. So he's aware of God's love from his word. He's very aware of of the truths of his word and he's standing on the promises and he's going to remind uh, himself of a few things here he says I do not spend time with liars or go uh, along with hypocrites I hate the gatherings of those who do evil and I refuse to join in with the wicked so our point there is to be specific and careful about who we hang out with right who we hang out with I talked about it this past weekend or two weekends ago in a sermon. Um, it's all about we can be friends to certain types of people and then certain types of people we can be friends with them. If, they're character, if they have character and moral uprightness, we can be with them, teamed up, and move about with them. Um, but if they're not of that character, um, it's not good to be teamed up with them. We can be friends to them, loving and caring to them. I wash my hands to declare my innocence. I come to your altar, O Lord, singing a song of thanksgiving and telling of all your miracles. I love your sanctuary, Lord, the place where your glory shines. Don't let me suffer the fate of sinners. Don't condemn me along with murderers. Their hands are dirty with wicked schemes, and they constantly take bribes. But I am not like that. I'm doing what is right. So in your mercy, save me. I have taken a stand, and I will publicly praise the Lord. Amen? Powerful words uh, of encouragement to us today. May we remember moral uprightness and character and godliness and love. Amen? That's what stood out to me from the psalm. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your word. It's quick and powerful and sharp. Thank you that it's a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path today. May we hide your word, Lord, in our hearts that we may not sin against you. We ask you to help us, Lord God, to have moral uprightness, undivided character, sound character, Lord, honesty, 
and help us, Lord God, to be very careful of who we are with and who we are loving to uh, guide us and use us, Father, um, as your word stated today. We love you so much. Go with us now, God. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hey, wonderful time here in Psalm 26. We'll see you tomorrow. All right. God bless. Bye-bye.